Hi students. I wanted to go ahead and take some time to go through all the things that will be in your supply bags that you're receiving this week. So this is what the bag looks like. Everybody's will be basically the same and I think we're going to add one or two more things to this bag before you receive them. But Overall, it will be in a zipper bag and inside there's another smaller zipper bag as well. So let me go ahead and show you what's inside. So the biggest thing inside the bag is a notebook. Now this is a wide ruled notebook, which means the lines are a little bit further apart. And the first thing I want to tell you about this notebook is that everything we do will be class related. So this is not a notebook for you to draw whatever you want in or to write lists in, unless it's a class assignment. So we will be using this together. The same thing goes for the smaller notebook. So we have, this is called a composition book. And this one is a smaller notebook. And it says Los Angeles Unified School District on the front. Again, this is one that we're only going to use for class stuff, at least in the beginning of the school year. So these are both for you to use. You'll also get some white paper and some lined paper. And these, these are for you to use, but for class stuff, not for just drawing whatever you want. Now, the next thing you're getting is a brand new pair of scissors. And these are kids scissors. These are for safety. So they have the rounded tips. They're not very pointy. However, you can still hurt yourself with scissors. So the first couple days that we have these, the first times we use them, we'll practice using them safely. And these ones you can use for other things in your home if you need to. So it's okay to use these for whatever you want to use them as long as it's a safe activity. That one doesn't have to be just for school. Next up is a glue stick. Now, glue sticks have tops and if you leave the top off of the glue stick, it will dry out and it won't work as a glue stick anymore. So you can see this; these ones are purple and they twist up at the bottom just like a chapstick would. And these, if you leave the top off or if you don't put it on all the way, it will fall off. So when you use your glue stick, listen for the snap. So I'll show you that again, listen for the snap. If it's not all the way on, the top will fall off and it won't be a glue stick anymore. It will be a piece of garbage. Exactly the same for your whiteboard marker. So when you use these, you can take them off and draw or write. And then when you put it back on, if it's like this, it will fall off. So make sure you put it on and you twist it and see how it's not all the way closed yet. Listen for the snap every single time. Even if you just leave it off for a couple hours, this will dry out and it will be a piece of garbage. You will also be getting two pencils. I'm sure you know how to use pencils. Um, the harder you push, the faster they break. So don't push too hard. And some crayons. Again, the harder you push, the faster they break. So this is a box of 24 crayons. We've got lots of color options inside. They're brand new just for you. Now we're gonna practice using these gently and carefully and keeping them in the box. Those are for you. You also have a small bag with some supplies in it. Now I will point out Different students might have different colors here. The same goes with those bigger notebooks and the scissors. You might get a different color than your friend and that is okay. So inside here, let me show you what there are. These things are called linking cubes and you will have 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This might be a different color. You will have a little bag of some counters, and there are 20 inside here. They're red on one side and yellow on the other. You will have two foam dice, which you get to use. You will have a spinner. These are very fun. You hold them still and they can spin. And then you'll have 20 small squares. 10 of them are red and 10 of them are blue. We'll use these for making patterns. We'll use all of these things for solving math problems. 
We use them for showing our thinking in math especially, but maybe in some other things as well. Now, your job is to keep these all organized. All of these are your school materials, so your job is to keep these in a space where you can use them for school rather than as toys. So these are not for your little sister to chew on. They're not for you to, you know, use for other games outside of school. These are school materials. So if you're using them for math, use them for math. If you think of a math story or a math problem you want to work on, even if that's not a school thing, you can talk about using these, but they stay in the bag and they stay with your school materials. Not in your toy box, not in the kitchen cabinet, not in the bathtub. These are for you for school. The last thing you're gonna get is a little card like this and it's laminated, which means that it's a little bit thicker than a regular card. And on one side, it will have your QR code for Schoology. And on the other side, it will have your QR code for Clever. Now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make another tutorial on how to log in to Schoology and to Clever but just know that this is for you. It does have your name on it. I covered it up um, just because this is one student's and I don't want anyone else logging into that student's account, but it does have your name on it at the top and it's just for you. These are like a password. So make sure to keep this with your school stuff too because this is how you will be able to log in. So you'll see it has number one, Schoology, and number two, Clever. All of these things, to be inside your material bag that you get from school. Please keep this in a safe place. If you have a backpack, maybe you wanna keep it in your school backpack. If you work at a particular place in your home every day, such as if you're working at a desk, maybe it stays at your desk. These are not for your little brother. They're not to go in your mouth. They're not for your mom to use when she just needs a, a color really quick. Do your best to keep these safe and comfortable for you. I hope you enjoy all these things. There will be at least one other surprise that will be added in, um, as well as a folder with some paper stuff, and I'll show you what that looks like when I get a hold of one.